What is up guys, I'm Montes here. Today I'm back in another video and this video is about the 1.7.0.2 and higher versions. Uh, how to use the command scoreboard. So scoreboard command was uh, released in 1.7.0.2 about which was released about three hours before I'm making this video. So yeah, let's get right into it. So to use the scoreboard, you're gonna make a new world, creative, and you want to do the uh, where did it go? Uh, activate cheat on, and you're gonna do use experimental gameplay. You have to do this, and then create. So I'm gonna be going over the basics of how to use a scoreboard. So you'll be able to basically use a scoreboard with some. Um, I don't know skills. So here I am with a new world. So first you want to do is what you want to do is you're going to type the scoreboard command slash scoreboard. So there's going to be two types of scoreboards objectives and players. So first you want to do objectives. So there's going to be basically um, a score and for every players they're going to have a specific score for one score. So that's kind of hard to explain. So I'm going to be explaining that uh, by going through this thingy. So objective, uh, you want to add a, uh, add a score. So if you're going to do it, then you're going to do add. And my score uh, name is going to be name. Actually, whoops. Element X. Dummy. So dummy is like a non-changing variable and automatic. It changes with the game. So, uh, dummy and display name is going to be uh, tests. Okay, so it's gonna be test like this. So, new objective is added, element X is added, and it's gonna be displayed as test, T E S T. So, now I wanna display this thing. So, how the heck do I do this? Uh, to do that, you're gonna do score board uh, set display sidebar. And element X ascending. So descending is basically the opposite of ascending, and it's like the uh, reverse list of the ascending. So there we go. Uh, sidebar element X is added. So it's gonna be displayed as test, but the real name is element X. Okay. So uh, if you wanna um, display this thing in a different place, then you gotta do this set display list x so i believe you can access the scoreboard if you press the tab button which is now available in pocket edition and you can also display this below your name so if you want to remove the scoreboard then you can do scoreboard objective re objectives remove element x scoreboard objective list basically lists all of the scoreboard available and the last two set display uh, sidebar and below name is a thing we just went over. So now let's go to the players add. So this is gonna be adding one point to the player. I mean, uh, it's gonna add a point to the player. Okay, so uh, add the closest player and uh, which is element X and you're gonna do element X. Element X is the name of the, the score. Uh, and then the amount you wanna add. So Two two two. Then this becomes Reventon MC two two two. So my name is Reventon MC right now. Okay. So if you're gonna add more, then you're gonna do score scoreboard players element uh more three seven six. Then it's gonna add three seven six to two two two, which is gonna be five ninety eight. Okay. So this is pretty simple. Now, what if you want to subtract? Then you're gonna do remove at p element x 344 then it's going to remove 344 to the uh, previous number which is 598 okay now let's go deeper into this topic players set set is going to be basically it's gonna be ba it's basically gonna be setting the score to a specific score, okay? So which is really easy. Operation. Now let's go to operation. This is gonna be a pretty um really useful thing, okay? So scoreboard players operation. So this argument is gonna be the score of the player you wanna change. Okay? 
and the score you want to change and this is if you want to add subtract divide it or multiply and this is going to be the player another player's score or your player's score that you want to add so what I'm doing right now is I'm adding my score to my score. If there's another player named RevenantMC2, then I can do uh, at a name is equal to RevenantMC2. And if we do that, then it's going to be adding the RevenantMC2's element X score to my element X score. Do you get that? It's pretty hard, but <laughs> so let's try my uh, score, my element X score. Okay, if I do that, then my score is going to be multiplied like this. Okay, so that's how this thing works. So I can make multiple scores by doing um, EL dummy uh, test 2. Okay, if I do that, then let's give it, that's going to be another score. Okay, so I forgot to mention one thing. So I'm going to be adding this part in the video. So uh, you can actually select the players with the scores so you can actually target players with a score okay so i'm gonna be doing that right now so what's my score right now scoreboard uh players list at p okay so test is 508 so i'm gonna be trying to Killing myself, kill at a scores is equal to uh, element x is equal to 508. So it's gonna be targeting every player that has an element x score of 508. If you wanna target every player um, that has a score of 508, that, that does not have a score of 508, then you're gonna do element x equals exclamation mark 508 okay i'm gonna be doing this and like this if i do this then it's gonna kill every player that is the element x score of 508 and it killed me so yay i died so that was basically for today's video guys and for the last first video i'm gonna be uploading a block glitch in minecraft that somebody found out so one of my subscribers found out so it's gonna be pretty interesting so if you haven't subscribed yet then yeah please subscribe so yeah thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video thank you for watching